So hello everyone, I am Julian Arenas. Uh, I am a PhD student in the uh, Ontology Engineering Group and I will present a, a joint work with the FRIEL, uh, which is titled Knowledge Graph Construction with R2RML and uh, RML, an ideal system-based uh, overview. So the problem that we tackle is the uh, construction of knowledge graph from heterogeneous data sources, uh, which are usually in non-RDF data formats, such as uh, relational databases, CSV files, JSON files, and we usually uh, rely on declarative mapping rules to, uh, to generate the, the RDF. Uh, specifically, we uh, use uh, R2RML, which is the World Wide Web Consortium uh, standard uh, uh, mapping language, and RML, which is a superset that allows to uh, generate uh, the knowledge graph from uh, data sources between uh, um, uh, relational databases. Uh, and also we focus on uh, material on materialization that is the generation of the uh, of all the RDF triples contrary to virtualization which uses the uh, mapping rules to uh, translate the sparkle queries into the native uh, query languages of the uh, data sources so but there are many uh, materialization engines available and practitioners may get overwhelmed by by this amount and it may be difficult to select uh, select uh, the proper one for, for the use case for so our objective is to facilitate this selection uh, for them. Uh, in our overview, we selected uh, a bunch of engines, not all of them. Uh, the selection criteria were uh, that they have to be open source. Uh, uh, for the case of uh, RML engines, we relied on the uh, implementation report and took all the engines listed there. And for the case of R2RML, we couldn't uh, rely on the implementation report because it is uh, it was uh, outdated. So we selected some of the most well-known ones and excluded uh, R2RML for net because it only supports SQL Server, which we do not cover in our uh, evaluation. Uh, so we ended up with, uh, in the case of R2RML engines, with on top Mor MorphRDB, R2RML F, DB2 triples, and in the case of uh, RML, with Carmel, RML Streamer, RML Mapper, SDM Artificer, Flocket RML, and Chimera. Uh, we performed a qualitative analysis of the features of these engines. Uh, regarding the data formats, all R2 RML engines are able to, uh, uh, to well, well, they support relational databases, but uh, R2 RMLF also supports uh, CSV files. Uh, in the case of uh, RML engines, they also support XML, CSPs, and JSON, and also RML Mapper and SDM Artificer also support uh, relational databases. RML Mapper is the only engine which is able to, uh, to parse both R2 RML and RML, and on top also uh, uh, has its own mapping language. Regarding data errors, it is uh, interesting to see that any of the engines are able to, or, well, the, any of the engines support it. And it's curious because it is uh, in the R2RML specification, any engine is able to, uh, they, they do not support, for instance, uh, ill type literals. Uh, Chimera and uh, on top are the ones that uh, support on, uh, ontology as an input to do some inference. Uh, all RML engines support uh, functions except for RML streamer. And also, uh, R2NML also supports functions. On top is the only one that is able to, uh, to uh, materialize in, ch in chunks, which is uh, good for uh, scalability. DB2 triples that does not support named graphs. And uh, Chimera is the only engine which is able to write uh, triples directly to uh, a Spark endpoint. Uh, next, our comparison framework uh, is divided into parts. First, we uh, uh, analyze the conformance of the engines with the uh, uh, mapping languages, and we rely in the test cases for that. And next, we uh, use a benchmark to evaluate the performance, uh, the execution time, and the memory consumption, and also the correctness of the results generated. Uh, okay, here we have the results for the, uh, the test cases. In, in the top, we have a table uh, for uh, the R2 RML engines. We see that on top is the one that passes uh, more uh, test cases. Morph RDB uh, fails uh, quite much because it generates an empty graph when it should generate uh, errors. 
And DD2 triples and R2RML F are just able to pass a few uh, test cases because they do not support the limited identifiers. And we see that they uh, actually get the same results because R2RMLF is based on DB2 triples. In the case uh, of RML engines that we have uh, above, uh, uh, we uh, see that RML mapper, schemera, and RML streamer are the ones that uh, pass most of the engines, most of the test cases. Uh, SEM artificer uh, fails uh, quite much because it also has similar to uh, Morpher TV generates an empty graph when it should generate uh, an error. And also it does not support uh, blank nodes. And Rocket RML gave some problems with uh, graph nodes. Uh, so uh, for the evaluation of the performance, we relied on GTFS Madrid benchmark, which uh, gives the data in several formats. Uh, specifically, we consider relational databases, uh, CSV files, JSON, and XML. And finally, uh, a custom format, which uh, is a mix of the uh, uh, other formats that I mentioned. Uh, the benchmark also allows us to scale the data in size, and we consider scaling factors uh, 1, 10, 100, and 1,000. And we, for the experiments, we uh, used a 24-hour timeout on a machine with uh, 128 gigabytes of uh, memory. In this part, we excluded RML streamer because it did uh, not support uh, duplicate elimination. Uh, here we have the results uh, regarding the execution times. Uh, the first thing that we should notice is that uh, we have no results for GTFS uh, for a scaling uh, factor 1000. And that is because any engine is able to materialize uh, the, the enter knowledge graph in, uh, in the machine that we used and, and we have with uh, the timeout that we consider. We see for uh, the scaling factor 10 uh, that uh, animal mapper uh, performs, I mean, it's quite slow and it uh, gave uh, timeout errors. And in the case of the more interesting uh, scaling factor uh, 100, we see that uh, for relational uh, databases on top R2RMLF and DB2 triples uh, have similar uh, performances and, uh, and are the, the best ones. And in the rest of the uh, data formats, SEM artificers is with difference the, the engine that uh, obtain uh, the best uh, results. Uh, we have to consider that this is in logarithmic uh, scale. Uh, for memory consumption, we measured it with the maximum, well, with the peak of maximum memory used. Uh, we see in, uh, in in the scaling factor 100 that Morpher TV is the one that gave better results, but I put it in yellow because it is not uh, very correct, as we will see in the next slide. Uh, for the rest. Uh, on an international case, uh, relational database case uh, on top, and STM artificers are the one that uh, have are mem more memory efficient. And in the case of uh, the of the other data formats, uh, STM artificer is the the one that uh, got better results, and and it is uh, the only one that is able to materialize uh, the data formats uh, XML, JSON, and custom. Finally, we have the correctness of the results. To uh, measure this, we counted the number of triples generated by uh, every engine. Uh, here, well, it, it is not, uh, it not, doesn't fully cover the correctness, but uh, it gives us an idea. Uh, we see that Morphar TV generates uh, many more triples than, um, than it should. Uh, as I was uh, saying in the previous slide, because it, the algorithm that it uses and the duplicate elimination uh, mechanism is not correct. So that's why it generates uh, some, some in triples. And in the rest of the cases, RML mapper and Rocker RML and Carmel in some in the JSON case uh, generate a few more triples than they should. And this is because they generate triple, triples when they find empty data values or null values in the case of relational databases. Uh, which is not conformant uh, to the uh, uh, mapping languages. So to summarize, uh, there are a few systems with high coverage of the uh, qualitative features that we consider in uh, our analysis. Uh, many, most of the engines have medium to low conformance with respect to the uh, mapping languages specification, 
but we well there are some that stand out like uh, on top RML mapper, uh, RML streamer, and Chimera. And finally, uh, most of the engine report performance scalability problems. Uh, we saw that uh, any engine is able to materialize uh, GTFS for uh, scanning factor 1000, which is uh, like 80 gigabytes of, uh, of uh, knowledge graph. And, but well, uh, the ones that had better performance, both in memory and in execution time, were SEM Artificer and, and top. So thank you for your attention. If you have uh, any question, I'm glad to go. Thank you. Um, I already see some questions. Um, I will read them first in the chat. So the first one is from Christoph. Um, he thinks it's great work, so that's nice to hear. Uh, regarding the test cases, he just had a comment. Um, the test cases did not check for error codes and some were biased based on the underlying database. Are these discussed in the conclusions of the paper in the discussion section? Sorry, can you repeat? Um, so um, the test cases did not check for error codes and some were biased based on the underlying database. Are these discussed in the conclusions of the paper discussion? Uh, no, but I'm, I'm, I mean, the test cases, I'm, is uh, a straightforward way to, to assess the, uh, the conformance of the, uh, of the engines, but they absolutely, I mean, the, the, a more in-depth analysis is needed if, if you want to see, I mean, the, the full quality of, of an engine, but is the most straightforward and objective uh, way to see if, if the engine is conformant. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the, maybe the people who joined later or for this presentation specifically, uh, you can unmute and ask your question directly if you want. Um, I don't see any new questions. Um, I had one. Um, how different would the results be if you would use something else besides GTFS? Because I guess GTFS will have some specifics or specific characteristics, what would the effect be on the results if you would take something else? Well, in the materialization case, uh, I, I do not think that they, they should uh, differ so much in the, in the results. Uh, GTF, for instance, we found a, a special characteristic of GTFS that, uh, that gave uh, many, pro uh, many problems with the engines, uh, specifically, uh, we have an, a self-join in the mappings, and uh, it was making the engines not to end up a step for on top, because on top uh, implements uh, self-join elimination when they, when they generate uh, the SQL queries, but the rest of the engines, no. So uh, we had to manually remove the self, that self-join in the mappings. Uh, but apart from that, I, don't, I do not think that uh, the results would change so much if we use other benchmark has NPD, for instance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then Anastasia also has a question, but maybe Anastasia wants to um, say it in real life or... Michael, yes. <laughs> My question is uh, about the performance of the R2 RML processors. I think that you mentioned that like all of them perform quite well and they perform along the same levels. How would you interpret the results? Like, would you say that, okay, they have reached their, um, um, like uh, the best performance and there is no more room for improvement or is it just a coincidence? Um, well, uh, more, uh, the, the exception in actual ML engines is MorphRDB, which is not good. And uh, regarding the, if there is any room for improvement, uh, I believe, uh, I mean, I can say yes, because it's my part of my research. Uh, but, um, but I mean, I think there is room for improvement. But, um, that, yeah, like, like because, for instance, db 2 triples and, and R2RMLF, they use the same algorithm. Uh, so that's why they have the same, the same results. MorphRDB performs uh, worse. And uh, on top has, I mean, you, you can see a slight difference with, uh, of on top with respect to uh, db 2 triples and, and, uh, and R2RMLF. 
in the graphic is not it doesn't look so much because it is logarithmic logarithmic scale but it is considerable i mean um, it's in the order of of uh, of twice the, uh, twice the amount of time than db2 triples for instance if i can add something uh, i think that uh, most of the research about performance was focusing in rtml to sparkle to sql translation uh, so uh, and virtual knowledge graphs and don uh, uh, since the, the appearance of Arthur ML, uh, there is no too much focus on materialization. And I think that is important because many projects and uh, research need the properly RDF. Uh, so I think that there is uh, also room for, for improvement and, and maybe it, it is a good line to, to be followed. Um, okay, let's see if there are other questions uh, in the chat, maybe. Um, no. Okay, if there's nobody else, uh, then I think we can move on to the 